Big game is on Thursday with Manchester City playing host to Manchester United. And some interesting quotes, as always, attributed to Jose Mourinho and his injury situation ahead of this clash. He said, if I was Smalling or Jones, I would play Thursday with anything. I would do a last push. If they have a crazy mentality like I have, they would. He continued to go on and say, if they are safe thinking and they are surrounded by people with the same mentality as they have, it's more time, more cautious. If it was me, nobody would stop me to play. Well, if we'd only had, if we'd only, uh, had any sort of proof of that from his playing career, <laughs> which I don't believe he had one, so it may be quite difficult or, uh, to, uh, to equate that to a player playing at the top level, at top speed, yep. in one of the toughest leagues, uh, one of the most physical leagues, then that's difficult to quantify. Look, if one of those players goes into his office... Wednesday, and said, I'm not quite fit, Gaffer. What's he going to say? But, but, so Jones and Smalling have missed the last seven matches with an ankle and, and toe injury, respectively. Uh, uh, knee, sorry, knee, not ankle. How, how does this help a player? I, I, I don't know. And, and again, these are the things that Jose Mourinho continues to come out with that bemuses me. Now, no question. When a, players play through pain, play through injury, if they can, but they do so or push themselves maybe that extra yard for managers that they have faith in, for managers that they trust and trust in them. But in Jose Mourinho, who continues to come out and criticise his own players, I'm not sure what's the motivation for them. And whether they play or not, now again, injury aside and, and the severity of it aside, whether they push themselves that extra yard speaks more of their belief or standing behind Jose Mourinho than anything Jose Mourinho has done or has done in his own career. When you were coaching Stevie, would you ever employ these tactics? N not at all, ever, never, ever. If you're going to, if you have a problem with a player, you sit him in front of you and you look him straight in the face and you either tell him you think he could play or not or, or you don't trust him or whatever it may be, you don't come out and do that yeah. to players. I'll tell you what, if he was my manager, I know what I'd tell him what to do with his team because I'll be shocked if, if, if if Smalling and Jones are still at Manchester United next season, because if I was one of those two guys, I don't want to play for this the, geezer, no chance. The other side of the coin is, I don't, uh, my own view of it would be, I, I don't, these two guys don't look to me as if they're two of what I would call soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are players over the years that you would, we've all played with them, they're a little soft. I mean, there's players who play with more and players who play with less. Some injuries you just can't. Now, Phil Jones in particular, love him or loathe him, Every time you see Phil Jones playing, he'll, he'll put his head and his body into challenges that he's got no right to do so. How, he's how a many, very brave player. Craig, how many times was Phil, Phil Jones injured when Fergie was the manager? Just as many times as when Mourinho's been the manager. Yeah. And how many times did Fergie come out and criticise Jones? Mm -hmm. Not once. Here's the weird thing as well, because Jose Mourinho criticised Chris Smalling in the past this season. And it well, turned out he had a broken toe. Yeah. It's, it's like, well, why have you not learned from the first time? Well, at least Josie's got his name right. I mean, Louis, couldn't he, Louis Van Gaal <laughs> <laughs> called him Mike Smalling. So it's a step in the right direction, I suppose. But it, it, I suppose it's the, the flip side, like Luke Shaw. We've kind of seen him see, treat Luke Shaw similarly. Look, but then he was, he was given a lot of love after the Anlet game. Do you appreciate it more? It's kind of like a bad daddy thing. No, look, no. This, this, this is all of a sudden. If you think about the latter stages at Chelsea, all that, all that dirty linen was washed in public horrendously, not just with players, but with backroom staff that became legal. Now he's, now he's doing it again at United. He's doing it again, but he's not doing it. You watch, he hasn't done it with the Ibrahimoviches or, or any of those. 